Hello and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty with Lord Elric. Uh, today we are going to continue working with Sambor. We gotta make progress on this stuff. Uh, let's take a quick look at our inventory, make sure we're not carrying anything we don't need to survive. Should be good. And we're going to head, head directly to Sambor. There's Gestawa we really need to progress the storyline to unlock some more buildings. We really need another house for Gestawa. Actually, before we do that, let's go find Jadwaga and romance her to try to get her to like us more so that we can move along that line as well. She's not there, Jadwiga. Where are you, Jadwiga? Still in here sleeping? How can you still be asleep? You were asleep. I think she's avoiding us, guys. I mean, she was asleep last night when we got back, and she's asleep this morning as we're leaving. On our way, we are gonna go and meet up with Sambor. So, if we can get this storyline moved along, we'll build a house for Jodwiga fairly quickly. Um, or maybe we'll build ourselves a bigger house if that's unlocked. I'm not sure if it is or not. And that music is insanely loud again. I don't understand that. Uh, let's turn that down just a touch. There we go. That should help some. Do, 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 do. And we'll probably have to start hunting some food uh, in the very near future again. Uh, we did unlock the kitchen last time, so we might want to consider getting that built and putting, finding somebody to uh, work on that. That would be great. Then we have a supply of food coming in constantly, as long as we provide the resources. We don't have a lot, but it would be one of those that if I put in the uh, meat and anything else I can scrounge, we could probably move the process along fairly well. Uh, we spent all our money on backpack yesterday. We could probably work on getting a whole lot more stuff. Let's see. So we hit him pretty hard. Yep, yeah, we hit him so hard we knocked him away. Alright, let's grab the arrow. Let's skin the stag. Grab some meat since he's on our way anyway. All right, that worked well. How much meat did we get? Uh, 18 for that, not bad. That would last us a day or so. If we come across another nice stag like that, we will probably take him down. But we got a lot of walking to do today. So let's get over to meet our buddy Sambor and have him be cruel and mean to us again. <laughs> we could take the deer. Nah, we're going to keep going. We got to get this. I want to make progress here. We got to get a house built for Gustawa before she leaves permanently. I thought we might have been a little too premature in hiring her, or having her join the village, and I should have waited. But I didn't. 
and that's on me. So her unhappiness is my fault, and we gotta fix it. And sometimes I wish we could just skip the storyline and focus on the building, because that's where I have the most fun. But I want to make bigger houses. I want to start building a decent uh, residential section. Um, I think, for the most part, the workers don't need to be right near where they work, except for farmers. I think they actually have to be in the field. Sambor! Hiya, buddy. We're back. Is the parcel ready? What is it now? Oh, well. I read that backwards again. Yes, all nice, warm, and ready. Did you say warm? No, did you? I'm pretty sure that here it is. Go to Tatuki and give it to Wal Walrod himself. As you wish. All right. If I'm not mistaken, Tucky is way across the map from here. Yeah, it's all the way over there. So we got a lot of walking to do. This music kind of gets to you after a while. So, we're going to start looking for things to hunt along the way. Um, at least for the initial part here, because we haven't been all the way to Tutki. We have been to the Broncas. Or Briancas. Um, it's where we ended up yesterday before we ran out of light. Which happened really fast. So, okay. So, we're just going to... Run through the woods, following the path, uh, as that tends to be. Well, we're going to take shortcuts where we can, but we're in a deer area, so time to watch for another stag. That tree over there, the angle of it looked like a bear for a second. I do not want to tangle with a bear. Alright, we're to the first of the Briancas. We want to get this parcel delivered fairly quickly. I think I know what it is, and I'm not interested in hanging on to it any longer than I gotta. Oh, I th that sound, I thought it was something coming to eat us. It wasn't. Alright, there's a little creek down at the bottom of this hill. We'll stop and get a drink. Probably eat some of our roast meat. Here's our drink. And... Do do roast meat. Wow, we ate a lot more roast meat than I expected. We're gonna definitely need to hunt some stuff on the way back to our camp at the end of the day. Or targets of opportunity work as well. So yesterday we were here. Uh, we got our backpack here. I'd love to get the large pouch, but we're short on funds, so let's just do the delivery. Uh, we'll start making a ton of uh, stone knives back at the camp. I wonder if we can build those in a workshop or if we need to make them somewhere else. Because if we can build them in a workshop, we could build the workshop when we get the opportunity and put somebody to make in those, and then we could oop, haul them. Okay. So there's a wagon here. I don't know that we've looted it yet. Oh, there's some fur. 
and some wool, which we could sell easy enough. All right. And back on the trail to get to Tutki and talk to Walrod. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting close. Yep, there she be. It just feels like a really long walk sometimes, especially if you're looking at the map. Um, let's go check out the hunter's cabin. There's nobody in it. Oh, maybe there is. Yep, there is. Otherwise, we could acquire some stuff there if we tried. All right. Put the bow away. All right. Let's see. You would be a good farmer, Igor. We will come back and talk to you when it is time to talk about that. Okay, Walrod, where's you at? Making myself dizzy with this. We are in Tutki, right? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, well, Rod, you're out in the field. Perfect. Hey, well, Rod. Excuse me. Well, I'll be damned. Excuse me? One is bright, the other dark, both filled with the spark. Your eyes, you remind me of Rasimir. Well, it's actually Rasa... Never mind. How do you know my name? I knew your uncle, Iredorn. Or Iredon. Besides, I've always been good with names. Ranis Ranagast. Okay, this is going to be fun. What are you doing here? I would never think to see you in the flesh. Sambor sent me to you. He asked me to deliver this parcel. Oh, my sweet child. I would throw that away immediately if I were you. What? Why? Well, taking that I know this guy for... I, that I know this guy for over 20 years and that I can smell this parcel from over here, I can guarantee that it contains his feces. What the heck is wrong with him? Ha ha ha. Well, he couldn't fool a master prankster. But... He sure pulled a number on you. A number two. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's extremely childish. Thank you, Radimir. I am doing my best to stay in good shape. That was not meant to be a compliment. Anyway, I hope that bag of crap was not the only thing bringing you to me. Of course not. I've been th actually talking with Unigast and Sambor about the pack. So you know. Amazing. I was afraid that I'd all let the cat out of the bag. We had to be very careful not to share our business with anyone. Always trying to be invisible, anonymous. Well, that must have been weird for Iredon, because he became the Castilian. All this attention. My uncle was a Castilian? Yes, he was, and Unigas took over that position after he died. Didn't you know that? No, Unigas never mentioned it. Must have slipped his mind. I would love to hear more stories. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about my uncle. Good thing you found me, then. I love reminiscing all of the adventures of the menacing phantoms. Menacing phantoms? That was the name of the pack. They didn't tell you that? Those old farts and their memory problems. I'm going to tell you all about it. But first, I need your help. You see, a large pack of wolves formed in the forest nearby. I'm afraid that they attack us. At, they'll, they will attack us at any moment now. Oh my, that sounds really serious. It is. That's why I need to build a palisade as soon as possible. I already have a plan for it. It won't be as much as a palisade, but a wooden maze all around Tutki. That way the wolves will get lost, confused, and less likely to attack. Well, that doesn't sound right. I've got all the necessary tools. All I need is some logs, and that's where I need your help. Sure thing. 
I can help you gather some materials. How much how, how much logs do you need? I uh, believe a thousand will do. A thousand? You you can't be quickly ramp ram pam pam. There's no time to waste. Uh Dynasty went up twelve points. I don't believe him, do you? Just to make things clear, you were pranking me with this log thing, right? What do you mean? The wolves are. Yeah, you got me. I was just messing around. But there is something I'd like your help with, actually. I really need to kill my cow. Right. Is it sentenced for treason? Probably collaborated with the wolves, huh? Well, I'm afraid this time it's not a joke. We bought the cow a few years back. Her name's Mariella. She stopped giving milk a while ago. My wife insists that we butcher her because some some of the meat will be inedible, but I I just can't. She feels like a part of the family now. Kids grew up along with her. We'll be sharing memories together. A sh you share memories with a cow? Oh, don't be like that. You know what I mean. Will you put her down? Just do it out of my sight. Fine. I don't have feelings for food. No problem. Alright. More points. Putting that point into uh, getting more points, dynasty points, has definitely paid off. Let's take a look. I don't think we've tiered up quite yet. Nope, but we're getting there. Alright, we need to find Marla. Ah. Where is... I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I bet you that's her there. Yep. Before we do that, let's talk to Unigas, or not Unigas, uh, his wife. Is it... Which one of these is it? Hello, traveler. You... Farewell, Hello. you're not the one I want to talk to. A newcomer. Uh, Hello there. No. Well, it could be, but... Goodbye. I just kind of want to see if I can find his wife and make sure this is on the up and up. Because, ah, yes, here we go. That's me, Amanda, and you are? My name's Rasimir. I'm Iordan's nephew, or rather I was. I'm sorry, honey. I've never met your uncle, but Walrod and him sure were close friends. What can I help you with? I'm actually here to help you with your problem. Walrod told me about Marilla. Oh, are you going to help this big baby with slaughtering it? Yes. Finally. Thank you for that. Come back to me when it's done. I'll reward you with a little something. I'll do that. All right. Now that we've got the wife on board, we know he's not yanking our chain. We can go and uh, slaughter the cow. Done. And we'll skin the cow. It's getting late in the day again already. These days go so fast. It's crazy. Alright, so that's done. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go talk to Amanda. <laughs> because I trust her more than I trust Walrod right now. Hello there. You're not. You are Amanda. Uh, you are Amanda. Show me your wares. Only what do you got? Ooh. 
Have a good day. Okay, fine. All right, let's go talk to Walrod, and then probably go back and talk to Amanda afterwards. All right, stop. I killed it. So you really did it. Isn't that what you wanted? Wanted? No. But I guess that's what had to happen. What about a story about the pack then? Naturally. A deal is a deal, my friend. Before meeting Iredon in the pack, I was a, hmm, I guess you could call it a gambling artist or a professional dice player. But it would be simpler to call me a common crook. I was traveling from tavern to tavern where I could cheat using my special dice and earn some money. I was pretty decent with my act, but Iredon saw through me right away. His eyes were burning a hole in my palm while I was switching the dice, and then I dared to glance in his way. He smiled at me. Even though he knew I was cheating and lost playing with me, he didn't say a thing, paid up, shook my hand, and left the table. I was intrigued like never before, so I followed him. I saw him meeting up with the rest of the pack, so I followed them too. I don't even know when I lost sight of Sambor, but suddenly he grabbed me from behind. That giant picked me up by the throat with one hand, threatening to kill me if he sees me one more time. That must have been terrifying. Smart thing to do would be to run and stay away from those people. But I've never been a smart man. So I kept on following them. Next time, Sambor added beating to the threat. I couldn't see for two weeks out of my left eye, but I didn't stop. They were more, they were more and more annoyed with me. So they just started to ignore me instead. I didn't bother them that I was following them. Then it stopped bothering them that I was riding near them. Then with them. So I started camping. Yeah, we just lost Gustavo. So I started camping with them as well. Eat with them. Finally, one day when they entered the tavern, I sat down with them at the table and hired and just passed me a cup and a plate. Just like that, like he did with everyone else. Unigas asked me about my name, and that was it. I was part of the family. So you were like a stray dog that didn't want to go away. Exactly that. I know how stupid it sounds. Pathetic, really. But looking back, that was the best decision I've ever made. Sure, they were making fun of me from time to time. Treated me differently at first. I was the youngest of them all. But after a while, I really felt like one of them, and I knew they loved me. That's really beautiful. I never forgot my first mission. We were tricking a countess into signing over her mansion to the orphanage. It was amazing. I felt ecstatic and just a at the same time, a noble crook. Without any guilt, but a sense of achievement, and I did good. Even Iredin's right hand said so. You mean Unigast? Unigast? Well, he and Iredin were certainly like brothers, but I believe it was always clear to everyone that it was Kestrel who was second in command. Kestrel? Who's that? They didn't tell you about her? Well, then I won't as well. It's not my story to tell. You should go talk to Unigast about it. I will. It was an immense pleasure meeting you, Walrod. And for me as well. Arden would have liked you. I can promise you that. Till next time, Ratat Ratatuli. Till next time. Man, that guy sucks with the names. Twelve more points. Uh, but we still don't have... We lost Gestawa during that conversation. Let's see, Amanda's back there. Hello there. Uh, small talk. How's your day going? Back. She said to come and talk to her. Okay. Only the best products here. Well, we're gonna keep the meat from your cow, lady. See you soon. Bye. So one more stop here in Utkia. Okay. 
<laughs> and then we gotta get our butts home. Took a day to do that walk. It's frustrating that time goes by so fast sometimes in this. Alright, the cabin's empty. Let's go see if there's anything we can use here. Uh, there's a bow, there's stone, and there's leather. It's not worth the uh, issues that could come out of that. Okay. Time to get our butts home. We should have to go south. We're going to take the bridge across because it's a little faster than going through the river. So that means we follow the road. Uh, one day we're going to get a horse and that'll make things even easier. Faster. And without this drain on our stamina. Oh, another wagon. Uh, this has a log. And a plank. We'll take them because why not? That's it. I don't know. Something feels a little weird about the graphics right now. It gets a little janky, I think. Might have to tweak that between episodes here. Let's get some water to drink. Go home, we'll collect that rabbit, and we'll cook some meat. And take a look at our stats. Oop, another wagon. What do we got here? So we've got some wool fabric and a scissors. Not bad. Not sure what we use the scissors for offhand, but... So home should be over here, not too terribly far. I'm uh, kind of keeping an eye out for more food. <laughs> There's deer spot here, so... Oh, almost walked past a wagon. We should probably check it out quick. Okay. Uh, looks like we might have hit this one. Nope. There's rot. Not gonna worry about rot too much. I know we need that for fertilizer and stuff. Is this taking us more of a that direction, I think? Alright, kinda keeping an eye out for deer to shoot. Oh, found can't or the village. But there's a moose. That's a lot of meat to pass up, though. All right, headshot down in one. Let's go ahead and skin that. Should be a fair amount of meat. Twenty meat for that. Not bad. Pick up that rabbit. We're gonna go and drop meat over for Jadwiga. Bet you she's asleep again. All right, we're a little encumbered. Let's grab the rabbit. Rearm the uh, trap. Uh, we need to take a bath before we try to talk to Jadwiga. Because uh, I don't want to make her less receptive than necessary. So we really want to get her to marry us uh, quickly. So let's get uh, dip in the river. Stop and throw some stuff in storage. Uh, and then we'll go and drop some food for Jadwiga.
And then we will probably start cooking and wrap up again. These episodes go so quickly. It doesn't feel like we accomplish much. But we do what we can. I've got a moose skull. Plank. Burr. Deer skull. Oops. I want to throw uh, that in there too. Might as well throw the rod in there. Uh, we have nine roast meat on us. I think if we put roast meat in here, she would have access to it. Um, wool, wool, fabric. Let's go ahead and pull out our torch so we can see. She's sleeping. Again or still? I'm not sure which. Let's put that in there and she doesn't want to talk to us so we need to stick around a little bit longer in the morning and talk to her this is just taking too long to get her to fall in love with us which sounds odd all right let's cook those meat and wrap up what we're talking about here so we've made progress again today uh we moved the storyline along we actually, let's take a look at, I've got to figure out where to see where we're ranked easily. Management, dynasty reputation is 317. Under, nope, our build limit's still limited to five. So we need to keep working on the storyline rather than recruiting uh, we or we need to get Jedwiga to marry us outright. So now that we know that, we need to get that figured out, um, and maybe work on collecting a whole bunch of resources and storing them up so we can build quickly, because that would be kind of handy too. But I think on that note, folks. We are going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to take a nap. Well, I'll sleep overnight. Get up in the morning and work with on um, getting Jedwiga to fall for us. Head over heels. Primary objective at this point. And work on the storyline. So we do need to go talk to Unigast, Unigast again. Um, and try to progress and get some things done. If we can do that. We can expand our builds, we can get some more people, we can make things a little bit easier even again. I would love to get a farm going, uh, but it's really tough right now without enough resources. So, we get this done and we make progress. So, on that note, folks, I am Lord Eric. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, Please like and subscribe if you wish. Until next time. Bye-bye.